Hey everyone, so we're working on black today, so we have the glare. Sorry about that, but as soon as we get some color on here, all of this lighting will change. Um, I did shut the side lights off because it was even worse with the side lights. So what I'm going to do today is a flip and drag, but we're going to play with it a little bit. Not just blow it out, we're going to play with some skewers and see what we can make with it. Five ounce cup. WD-40 silicone spray sprayed into this cup. That will help the paint release. I like to rub it in um, to make sure the paint doesn't stick to any of the cup at all and comes all down onto the canvas. So after I rub that in, I like to wipe my hands off um, with a wet wipe or just a damp paper towel that you might have sitting next to you. Okay, so today I'm gonna be using uh, the PBO Iridescent Violet Blue. And I'm going to be using Parage Posse Morn um, Morning Pansy. It's a pretty shimmery purple. Uh, Premier Purple Red. This is a paint that's made um, for AC Moore. And I'm going to go back with this PBO because I want a lot of that iridescent in there. Um, I was going to do silver or black, and I decided not to. Let's just keep it with color. So I'm going to flip this right in the middle. And you'll see the paint release from that cup and drop to the canvas, which is kind of cool. I'm going to heat up my push pin. These cups have been a little um, stubborn lately with me poking holes, so... one poke that helps to release um, the, the suction um, that is caused when I pop that and you can see the paint's coming out. So I want to float this on top of the black. Of course I dropped a bunch. I'm trying not to scrape too much. But I'm going to go back in and get that pile up there. I don't want to waste that color. So I dipped my cup back into my black runoff, and I'm going to go get it and bring it down. Okay, so my lights didn't change, did they? Alright, let me kick these on and see if that helps at all. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and torch because I want to bring the cells up so I can see what I can play with. This spot here is going to be so pretty when it's dry, but I am going to dump a little bit of that off. So let's just move it around a little bit. It's so hard to film with black. Um, it just washes out on a camera. I'm going to bring it back the other way. I want that PBO to stick into that black. Okay, I want to take a little bit this way so we don't have that big gob of color stuck there. I'm going to hard tilt. Okay, and we'll bring it back. So I'm not getting any cell action inside of that. Let me torch it one more time and see if there's anything hiding in there. Not really. That's all right. We're going to work with it. Work with it until we can't work with it anymore. Oh, clump there. All right. So before I get my airbrush out and I start playing around, I want to just skewer some things around in here. So I'm going to bring something into this.
just to give it some more movement. Everybody always tells me you just grab that airbrush and you just blow it out. Well, let's play. following movement but I am going to airbrush so <laughs> don't be mad <laughs> there's certain spots that just need to be pushed out just a little bit like this right here I'm going to work on it on the inside let's see I'm moving this way Wish I could get that glare off of there, guys. I'm really sorry. Let me bring it up close so you can see it without the glare as much. I wonder if I turn that down a little bit. There. I turned the brightness down. Let's see if that works. A little better than that, except for this light here. There. <laughs> Sorry, I made you suffer for almost seven minutes. Okay, so I'm going to blow a few things out because I love this iridescent and I want to see how that violet looks when it's dry. So um, just bear with me a little bit. I do want to push this black around a little bit into that so it's not like a blob of color. Just to move it around. Okay, so I want to play with this a little bit. Just pushing it out. Of course, the black likes to just swallow up your color. So when you're pushing out with an airbrush, go that little extra more um, to keep that from happening so much. We still have our lines without losing too much. There's just so many parts that I just want to emphasize. Is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> emphasize. That's a good word. This is so pretty. I'm not hating that, guys. I'm not. Right? We can't hate it. It's just there. Okay. So I can see that some of my little poles are already disappearing. I'm just going to pull them out some more. Like I said, the black paint will eat them for breakfast. Totally lost that one. This will be gone in like five minutes. <laughs> It'll sink. I think that's cool. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to 
step back, take a look. It says here, it's a little dark there. Let's push some of this pink into it. Are you screaming now? Sorry. <laughs> I can't hear you. Just a little busier now, isn't it? I really like that way that's sealed up in there. I do not want to push any more black into that. It'll just wash it completely out. This is going to be gorgeous when it dries. So that's it. I'm not going to touch any more. So I'm hoping that you are subscribed to the channel. Um, click on that bell. Make sure you're getting all the notifications. Um, YouTube goes in and cleans up once in a while changes notifications. I have so many people that say I didn't get a notification. So check your bell. Make sure it's on all. Um, also, click like and share. Please leave a comment. I would love to know what you think. Um, I'm sorry the first six minutes were super glary. I didn't know I could adjust the camera during filming. Found that out today. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful right there? Just beautiful. So, um, join us every Monday night. We're live at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on the channel. Um, St. Jude's Auctions coming up March 8th um, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Please come and support a great cause. 75% um, of our proceeds are going to St. Jude's. Um, I will be making a copy of the check and showing that on our Facebook group to show that we have written a check out. It'll probably be a cashier's check. So try to join us that night. We're going to have some great pieces to um, offer. Um, I'm going to clean house, and everything's going up for auction, and all that money's going to be going to those little kids that need it so much. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye now.